Jam TV Il prossimo anno lui compirà 70 anni e la sua creatura più amata e leggendaria ZZ Top ben 50 ma quando si ha la fortuna, l'opportunità di incontrare Billy Gibbons come abbiamo fatto noi non c'è bisogno di ricorrere a celebrazioni e ricorrenze per poter parlare di musica con Gibbons è facile parlare di blues, di rock, di Woodstock e di tante altre cose che hanno caratterizzato la sua lunghissima carriera musicale. L'abbiamo intervistato a Milano perché era qui come special guest di Supersonic Blues Machine, ma non ci siamo fatti sfuggire l'occasione per chiacchierare con lui delle sue chitarre, della tradizione del blues tanto amata, il museo di Clarks dei Mississippi, della Muddy Woods Guitar, ma anche di Eliminator, la sua macchina Hot Road che ha caratterizzato i videoclip più amati degli ZZ Top, così come abbiamo conversato amabilmente dello spirito di Woodstock che compirà anche quello 50 anni nel 2019 e nell'eredità che hanno lasciato gli ZZ Top e che cosa faranno loro per celebrare il loro cinquantennale. Quindi buon ascolto con la musica e la barba di Billy Gibbons. I had to write one extra song for a ZZ Top record because there was one song that was uh, requiring some uh, uh, approval. So in the meantime, I got with Fabrizio and uh, I wrote this song, Running Whiskey. At the last moment, this song was approved. So I said, Fabrizio, he said, oh, this is such a good song. I said, well, tell you what, I'm gonna give it to you. Now you need nine more songs. You need a drummer and a guitarist because you play great bass guitar. He said, and, and then what? I said, you start a band. Well, he did. <laughs> It was in California. So Texas, Italy, Spain, Mexico, we're, it's all this big mix, <laughs> but it's good. All the good players, Fabrizio, Kenny, the drums, the new guy, Chris Barris, very good. Serge, uh, everybody, good, Alex. <laughs> The, the main, uh, uh, the main, the golden goose, the main thing, of course, is ZZ Top. But I'm uh, still learning, and uh, the opportunity to work with other musicians is uh, really a, a luxury. It's a bonus, because everybody's a little different. It was interesting, uh, the, I had the group called The Moving Sidewalks. Somehow, we got put on the Jimi Hendrix Experience, the tour. But they wanted The Moving Sidewalks to play 45 minutes. And to play 45 minutes, we had to play two Jimi Hendrix songs. The first night, we came up and we played uh, Purple Haze going into Foxy Lady. And I look over, there's Jimi Hendrix. Can't believe this. I came off the stage and he said, I like you, you got a lot of nerve. <laughs> and we became, we became friends. He was, he was really a great guy. Well, 
Uh, we were just leaving. Uh, uh, ZZ Top had uh, one month holiday, which allowed me to come with Supersonic Blues Machine. And I said, well, you guys get some rest uh, because there's still a lot of work. And I said, there's always work. I said, no, 2019, five decades. And they went, Dusty, Frank, my two partners, and went, well, where did the time go? <laughs> so it's, it's almost unbelievable. I was just working ZZ Top and John Fogarty. I didn't know that uh, Credence Clearwater Revival with John Fogarty, they played Woodstock. So every night we were talking this and this and it came down he said, you know, uh, you've got a new uh, Billy, Gibbon, Billy F. Gibbons new record coming uh, and John Fogarty and I wrote a new song together but we were always talking, this was, that's today, but we were always going back, way, way back to those days. And to hear the stories of what Woodstock was like, it was a fascinating story. I think that, that the spirit is exciting. It's also very curious because now there's many people, they weren't even born when Woodstock already happened. So there's a lot of curiosity. What's this like? What's this like? The good news, there's great recordings, there's a film, and you can kind of get the feeling. We were just there three weeks ago and uh, it's, it's become a big, you know, the first time I found this place was small room. Now it's got uh, government money to expand and it's, it's very educational. Uh, they have programs for young kids, they got programs for big kids, they got uh, a nightclub, they got it all. Oh, it's still running. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but the story goes, you know who gets to drive it? The girls in the video. <laughs> they were always driving. <laughs> yeah, man.